Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Latina and I'm the Makeup Enthusiast. In today's video, we are updating on my Partners in Cream Project Pan and oh my word, it was an extremely successful month. I only have one rollout, but I have made some stellar progress on my other products. So if you wanna know how I went, then let's jump on into it. For those of you that are new, Partners in Cream focuses on only cream products in my collection. It is a global collaboration with a buttload of project panners across the world so if you do want to see or binge watch some project panning content then you can click the hashtag down um, in the description box or it'll be in blue around my title and that will take you over to like the playlist where everybody's videos are so we might start off with I guess maybe the one that I haven't made that much progress on so this is my Larry Perez Jojoba Eye Pencil in the color Copper. This is a gorgeous shade. I just have not been wearing it. <laughs> I keep forgetting to grab this out. I mean, I have made a decent amount actually. I thought that I wouldn't have made any progress, but I have still made, like even though I haven't been wearing it all that much, I've still made some progress. So this is where we are at at the moment. It is still like wider than my palm and you guys will see on my tracking sheet I made about the same amount of progress that I made uh, last month. I'm not a massive like I really like the color of this eyeliner. I'm just not a massive lover of the formula. It just doesn't glide as smoothly as I would like and it is a bit stiff. So, you know, the overall experience of applying it to my eyes or my eyelids is not the most enjoyable because it is a bit stiffer and it doesn't just like smoothly glide on. Next, we might move on to my Stila Glitter. So my goal for my Stila Glitter is to use it 15 times. And I had this goal for this one in particular since the start of the year. This has been in the project since the start of the year and it's been terrible progress so far. Last month, I think I was at like three uses or something. Maybe I should just, I, I'll put, the, put it on the screen how many uses I did of this one last month, but it was quite low. I think it was three. Anyway, now I'm up to eight uses. So I am only seven uses left on this one before I reach my goal. And I think I might potentially have this one done if I do use it for those seven uses because there's not much left in here. So I'm thinking that potentially if I do use it for the seven uses or maybe a few more that it might be completely finished. I can see like a fair bit of product built up at the bottom here. I always neglect this one because it takes me away from my uh, pan those eyeshadows, which is like my favorite project at the moment. So I really try and focus on the shadows in that. And like every day that I use this is a day that I'm not using one of those shadows. <laughs> so it's kind of like uh, tossing up which project to focus my full attention on but I do definitely need to get that one done because the product is like it's really drying out in there so I need to get my value for money out of that one my MAC strobe cream and this is another one that I wasn't making much progress on over the last couple of months I kind of forgot about it plus uh, this one combined with the the um, the foundation combination that I started the year off with it didn't work at all. I'm now working on a foundation that this does work with. So I'm getting a little bit more use out of it. And as you can see from here, I have dropped from this top line here down to this one here. So I think that potentially I could get this one done by the next update. It's still at the point where I can just gently squeeze it and it will come out, but I don't think it's going to be far off before I have to actually start like bending the tube and really squeezing quite like aggressively to get a bit out. So I think that maybe I, I think that maybe I could get this one done by the next update if I actually pulled my finger out. This is another one that's like hanging on by a thread and it's it's kind of like that awkward bit of if I continue the way I'm going, it'll be a couple of months, but if I actually focus a decent amount of attention on it and rotate this into like my everyday makeup routine i could easily get it done by the next update so it's just it's like hanging on a thread hourglass veil primer oh my gosh this one is definitely going to be done by the next update i thought that i might have this one done by this update because i'm filming this one a little bit early this update um it's not going to be done but this is like this line here is where i'm basically up to 
and it's getting really difficult to get any kind of product out. I'm really having to uh, bend the tube at the tip here, um, like over in half. And then I almost have to like squeeze the sides. You guys know like the method to get that last little bit out. That's the point that I'm at. The thing with this one is a little bit goes quite a long way. So I probably maybe have another couple of weeks out of this one, but I'm really thinking that it will be done by the next one. The next update that is my mecca max uh highlighter stick oh my lord i made a buttload of progress on this one this past month last month i was sitting at um where was i at last month i was at 22 uses in total and i'm now sitting at I'm now sitting at 35 uses in total. So I only have another 15 uses to go before I hit my 50 uses goal. And I don't know if you guys can see right here, but the product is, there's only like a really small amount above the lip here. So I think that I might actually reach my goal of having the product below the lip by the time I reach the 50 uses. There's still a crap load of product in this tube. When I compare it to my chart, it has dropped that tiny little bit again. So I am like, I'm making a decent dip in it, I think. And this is like, there's still like overall, when you compare the whole stick to the amount of progress I've made, I've made like nothing. But the fact that it's nearly below that lip, I feel like is a massive achievement. Every time I see it and the fact that it's so close, I'm just like, oh man, it brings such joy. <laughs> It brings such joy. The fact that I've made that much of a dent in a cream highlighter that it's almost below the lip. I feel like that's a, a massive achievement. And last but not least, speaking of massive achievements, this little guy. Um, so this is my Smashbox uh, bronzer stick. It is done. It is done and done and done. Like it is so done. I can't even fit this little guy in my sharpener anymore. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but there's like not even any more product left. Like it's at the point of the stick where the product it's like completely finished. There's basically no more product in the stick and it is tiny as all hell. I made so much progress on this product over this past month. I have been using this like every single day. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I will say there was one point where I sharpened it and basically the tip completely broke off. So I had to basically sharpen it completely again. So that definitely did help me make a really decent amount of progress. I did try and like get that little tip out of my sharpener, but when I was cleaning my sharpener out and trying to like put it in another like tub, it fell on the floor and I was like, yeah, I'm not touching that. But I still used it a bucket load and I finally got it finished. I'm so proud of myself that I got this one done. I really enjoyed this product and I, yeah, like you can't get this anymore, but I'm really glad that I got it finished. I'm very proud of myself that I completely used it up and I really enjoyed it while I was using it. I do have another one of these in my collection. I think it is the contour stick. I think for this point, well, at this point, I'm not going to roll that one in straight away. I would like to work on some of my other bronzers in my collection just for, you know, rotation purposes, enjoyment purposes. And I'm like, I'm a little bit over this system at the moment. So I'm going to give myself a little break from the Smashbox sticks. And to roll into its place, I'm going to roll in one of my Fenty cream bronzers. I decided to roll in the color Butter Biscuit. So I have both of the lightest colors. I think it's called Amber. I have Amber and Butter Biscuit. This is basically like my bronzer shade out of the two and the Amber shade is my contour shade. So I thought that I would roll this one in because I am, I'm really enjoying cream bronzers at the moment. Like I am going ham with cream bronzers and I am not ashamed of it. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying cream bronzers at the moment. So I thought that I would roll in one of my cream bronzers. I am going to try and use this until I hit pan and then I'm going to rotate it out and rotate a different bronzer in. It might be the other stick of this. It might be one of my other cream bronzers. I'm not quite sure. Haven't really decided just yet, but my cream bronzer collection is getting a little bit out of hand. I don't really want to admit that, but it is getting a little bit out of hand. I think I have a total of three three, four, five, 
I think I have six now. Like I think I have more cream bronzers in my collection at the moment than I do powder bronzers. So I really need to get some use out of them before they start, you know, going bad and turning on me. So I'm going to use this until I hit pan. And then once that happens, I'm going to rotate something else in. And as you can see, there's already quite like a bit of a dip in this corner here. Like there's a bit of pan agitation. So I'm just going to continue to focus my brush in that section and work my way through it. I have no idea how deep these pans are. Next month, I think there will be at least one or two new roll-ins and I'm very excited. I am so excited for some new roll-ins. That is my project pan update for this month. Let me know down in the comments how you're going on your cream products. While you're down there, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel for future content. Enjoy my membership for extra perks and applaud this video if you like. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope that you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.